let's do it. Uh, and like I said, this is, I, I don't, I'm not exactly sure how much I'm going to edit edit this, but it's going to take us a long time to do this. So just be forewarned that uh, this will probably be a long video. Um, all right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go nine foundations this way. And then we're going to go, um, I believe, eight foundations out that way. Uh, what I'm doing here first is I'm, I'm going to build another station for the uranium drop-off. I thought about trying to add it to that station, but I'm not sure how well that's, that's going to work. Um, so I think I'm just going to have a separate train that's dedicated just to the ur uranium. And because we're going to have two trains now sharing the same track, actually in a couple different places, we'll have to use some of the signals, uh, like the block signals and or the, um, I can't remember what the other one's called. It's, uh, it was actually right here. Path signals. Um, so we'll have to figure that out, but I'll, I'll worry about that after I actually get the, the railway built. Because uh, right now, um, oh, that was the other thing I wanted to tell you, too. If you look in the upper right-hand corner, uh, we are now completely finished with Assembly Director Systems. Uh, the space elevator is full of those things. And right now, I just have them now feeding into a sink uh, because there's not really anything else to do with them. Um, at some point, I might pull off the supercomputers that are being made, you know, just to gather up a few more of those. But for the moment, everything's just in the sink. And, you know, the jury's out as to whether or not I'm going to even attempt to try and do, you know, this next thing. Oh, the other thing, too, <coughs> excuse me, that I want to mention is that um, Coffee Stain just came out with another update video yesterday, or at least yesterday's when I saw it. And um, they're going to have a Phase 5 in 1.0, and they've drastically reduced the numbers here in Phase 4. So we'll still have to do the same stuff, but instead of, you know, 4,000, it'll be more like 500. Uh, that we have to do so there's that too uh, all right anyway so let's see i'm gonna go out to here and yeah that's correct okay so we're gonna go um we're gonna go 18 out this way uh, or yeah this way so that's 11. And then we'll do seven more. One, two. Well, I don't have to count it because it, it tells me on the screen what it's doing there. There. So so that's going to be the platform uh, for the next station. We have to make it, you know, decently large just because of the fact that um, we have to uh, make room for the in incoming rail and the outgoing rail. All right, let's get our uh, blueprints out, and uh, we need this to be in normal mode for the first one anyway. And then we'll move that to there, lock it in place, and then put the rest of these in. I know that outer row is actually being doubled up, but I'll, I'll take it back down. See if I can stay over here so we can stay hovered. Is that one doubled up too? No, it wasn't. Okay. All right. Now um, let's grab ourselves a whoops a train station, and we want to put that right in the center. going this direction and uh, let's see we want to move it over to there and then I gotta count these so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's the tenth one one two three fucking autosave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, this is the center, but um, we want to... Oh, damn it. 
Okay, hold on. Go back to here. You grab the station. Put it here. And I believe that's where we want it. Okay. Then we'll do a, f a, a freight platform here. And then we'll hook up the rail to there. And the incoming rail to there. Good. Okay. And then let's name this uh, uranium drop off. Because the other one was uranium pickup. Um, wait a second. Well, where's the oh nuclear depot? Where's the train station up here? How come it doesn't show up here? I don't know. Uh, that's weird. I mean, it's up. It's still up there. I, th I, I could have sworn we named it Uranium Pickup. Oh, I know what the problem is. Duh. <laughs> we haven't connected it with the rail yet, so it doesn't show up. Okay. Never mind. Don't pay any attention to me. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So that'll be the Uranium drop-off. Uh, let's get the... The, uh, the belt hooked up here, so that's all done. Um, so what we want to do is grab a, a lift here. Uh, we're only going to need 40 per minute, so Mark 1 is fine, for, or Mark 3, or yeah, Mark 1 rather, is fine for everything. And then let's grab a hanger. And we'll move that two over that way. And then we'll run this down to here. All right. And then we need a hanger here, but moved over two. And that connects our uranium line. This does a little bit left over from before. Very good. Okay, so that's all we got to do on this end. So let's head on down here, and I'll show you what we're going to do with the rail down here. Okay, so we're going to create an intersection that basically branches off from about here and goes up this way. But I want to actually start that from over here because of... Uh, just the way the railing, kind of the weird way the railing works in this game. So, what I have created, and actually created this a long time ago, but I haven't had occasion to use it yet, is I've got a, uh, in Roads and Rails, I've got this rail over road support. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to put that right in the center of the road. And it's basically kind of like a trestle, um, you know, so I can run railroad tracks over our road system. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a rail. And we're going to actually start that rail. Uh, yeah, that's that should be good enough. And just run it as far as it'll go until it reaches its maximum length, which is right there. Okay. And then we'll put another rail over road support uh, right in the center of this tile. Okay, I need that to snap so it's lock it and then slide it over okay good 
Now, let's go back over here. And we want this to start right in the middle there and go over to the middle of this one. Okay, good. And so we'll be running that, you know, all the way down to the end of there. And then um, when we get to the end of there, my plan is to intersect with the, that the other rail and use it for a little while. And again, we're going to use block signals and or path signals uh, to make all that work because we'll have multiple, you know, trains sharing the same line. All right. Now, let's go ahead and put some foundations down here. Uh, we'll go out, see, three, four, maybe five. And then I'm going to grab the... Uh, uh, where are we at? The four meter double ramp. And hook that up to there and run it down there. And let's also run another section down to there. All right, good. Can I... I need some power so I can hover. Whoa. Just need to find a connection somewhere that I can tap into. Uh... I just heard it here. Okay. All right. See if that's close enough. Um, I have to get a little bit closer. There we go. I just need to be able to grab the rail there. And uh, no, it's got to come. this, I think. Hmm. You know what, though? I might... I think I need to start that a little further back, because if I don't start it further back, what will happen is it'll start to, to angle up before it's completely separated from this track, which in a, a real scenario would not, would not work very well. So if we, oh actually no here's what I I did now that I think of it god damn it yeah let's just bring this out to here I want to start to kind of curve it that way a little bit though so again that intersection stays flat right okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to run it up this way. But we're going to need to bring the ramp over that way a little more. Because I don't want it to get too curvy or it'll look weird. Let's try it right there and see how that works. Okay, and then if we go from here to there... I just need to eyeball that and see if it looks okay. Because these rails, they they can kind of they can kind of get a little lumpy, I guess, for lack of a better term. Yeah, that that'll probably work. Let's just see what it looks like with the the foundations gone. And I just want to look at it from this perspective. Uh, yeah, I think that's okay. I don't see any glaring lumps. It's pretty decently smooth, I'd say. Good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to run 
uh, the rail uh, and these trestles all the way down to the other end of the road. All right, guys, we are at the end of the road here. So let's bring this to here. And now the plan is to intersect it with that rail. Um, so what does it do if we... Hmm. It almost... We get a little further up. Okay, that's not going to work. Unless we... Here, let's just set it in place for a second. Unless we move that power pole. I don't know if I have enough length um, to move it back that direction. Um, let's try something here. If we... we grab this and bring it back up here, do we have enough distance to move this back? Oh, we do. Okay. We could move it all the way back to there. Okay, so that... Uh, Oh, wait a second. Yeah, that <laughs> that's not going to work. We're going to have to get the track up higher first uh, before we can do this. All right, so... Hmm. I think what we're going to need to do then in that case is... All right, let's let's bring the track. Well, no, that isn't going to do us any good. All right, let's grab a foundation. Um Okay, let's just see. That's going to be a really steep climb, but will it let me... Yeah. Okay. What if we move this... Whoops. Over one. Still... Uh, oh, okay. It'll let me go to here. Now, well, let me move over this way a little bit, too. There we go. Okay, so what if we try it right about here? I can still move that pullback if I need to. And then... Yeah, it's still not going to work, is it? Because it's still below this track. So it's got to get higher than that. Okay. Let's do this then. Let's put you there and you there. Ah, okay. This could work. Uh, shit. It, it doesn't... Let's try that. Go to your connection point. Uh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, right there. Okay. Well, now, <laughs> now we have the opposite problem. Uh, is that gonna make that train crash? No, it... <laughs> Okay, it doesn't care. I mean, the game doesn't care, but obviously we can't do it that way. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, so this isn't going to work. Because that obviously wouldn't work in real life. So, 
Is there another place... We can intersect with this track. I mean, we can always just run an, a completely separate track, but I wanted to kind of, you know, utilize this path for part part way into where we were going. But we might need to bring the rail ar around here and intersect it maybe more over that direction. And incidentally, I, I did kind of pre-survey this, but I didn't actually lay any tracks or anything so we're just kind of flying blind here at this point so all right well then that means we need to well we could maybe try and go off around that way or we could go off around that way um almost like the idea better of going that direction now that i'm thinking about it some more so, all right, let's try this. Let's grab you and let's just see what that does. I really don't like how it is curving so much to the left, though. Um... We might be able to, well, maybe what we need to do is not use this last piece here. I got an idea. Actually, let's do this. Let's grab another one of these and let's set it right there. It gives us a little more space there to curve up this way all right that that could work that could work quite well in fact um what if we move it this way a little more though Yeah. Yeah, I like this idea. Okay. Um, I'm just going to leave that foundation there for the moment, but I'll eventually replace those with, you know, the, the railroad supports that we were using before. Okay, so we can come to about here-ish. Let's grab four meter foundations. Let's go into uh, vertical mode and still going to be a little tricky intersecting properly with this track. So let's let's go to about there. I'm running out of power here. Let's just do that for the moment. Do we have enough clearance for the belts and the mountain? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. This tree will have to go. Yeah, that looks good. Um, in fact, we could actually probably come, now that I'm looking at this, more directly this way. Oh, shit. Okay. It does... 
It does start to curve a little more though, but let's just see what it does. Okay, so we can still run it over to there. Here, I need to... Okay, uh, I think we want to go this way some more. Didn't mean to put that there. Let's try right about there. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. It's a little bit smoother curve doing it that way. Okay, now... Um, I'm going to need to bring it over this way even further so it looks like our limit is right about here <coughs> let's just see what happens Oops. if we run it Maybe over this way some more. Right? Now, where will you intersect? I mean, it's not perfectly level, but it's pretty damn close. If we we're going to do that. Okay, so our, our intersection is right in the center of this pillar. So let's remember that. If we're going to do that, let's see if we can do this a little more directly. We can't quite get to that pillar, but we can aim more directly for it. Let's try it right there. Yeah, see, that looks better. All right, so the only other thing we might try, I like that angle. Um, what if we raise this up by another one meter? Okay, and then Try this again. I think that's about where it was. Still kind of the same. Yeah, oh, we need to raise it up higher. Let's let's try two meters. That's pretty damn perfect there. Look at that. I'll take it. Okay, cool. 
All right. It's looking good. Okay. So now our train, um, when it intersects with this track, this is where we're going to need to put um, a block signal. So I believe, I've never used these before, but the block signal, if we put it down here, like, uh, oh, I need circuit boards. All right, well, we don't need to do this until we actually start running the train, but the idea is if you put it here, then it means that if another train is on this section, it won't let an opposite train also enter that section. And it when you have the, you know, when you have the signals uh, showing it color codes the tracks. Okay, so we'll worry about that later after we get the actual track built. But that's how you avoid, you know, train collisions. And a path signal is the same idea, except for the path signal, from what I understand, can go through multiple sections all the way to the next block signal way on the other end. All right, guys, uh, we are going to continue the rail here. Uh, just FYI, it's a couple days later for me in real life. Um, so I'm picking up wherever I left off in the <laughs> in the previous clip there. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, what we're going to do is uh, start running the rails up this way. So um, how about if we put this back on here so that way we can hover and also get out of the way of the train actually i think the train just clips right through us i don't think it runs into us but it will run into other trains uh, so let's find the connection there and we want to start going up this direction uh, i think yeah probably to there is good but what we're going to need to do in order to make these tracks be as smooth as possible is we have to run them on foundations if we try and run them just on the ground they they don't turn out very well uh, i've noticed so uh if we that's a two meter what would it look like with a one meter yeah let's go with a one meter foundation and then we'll rerun this track again right onto there Okay, I gotta back up again because I'm losing my power. Let's just try that. Okay, how does it look over here? It looks like it's pretty good. We don't want it to. We don't want it to be too high because then it then it looks bad and in a real situation wouldn't work anyway so but i think that's good enough that's close enough all right now what we're going to do is we're going to grab uh let's try the one meter incline ramps and we'll run those up to there and i'm just going to temporarily run some rail to keep the power going We'll run those to there, and maybe those to there. Okay, let's try that. And then we just want that to go to probably right about there, I would say. All right, that looks pretty smooth. I think we can work with that. All right, now we're going to get steeper here. So uh, I think what we want is let's grab a one meter foundation and 
point it probably that direction. And maybe move it up to here a little bit. And then I think we could try the two or uh, the four meter ramp, but is that gonna well yeah. I guess that would work if we ran the rail to there. But I think I'd prefer the steeper incline here anyways, because what that'll do is that'll get it kind of up above this little spot too. And we might even go one higher. Okay. Oh, shoot. Track is too steep. Okay. All right. Well, then what we'll do is put that back there. Let's bring you up to there. And maybe to there. Does that? Okay. The cra uh, track does not clip into the ground, so I think we're okay at that point. But now we're going to have a pretty steep. Yeah. See, I don't think I don't think that's going to work because it's going to clip into the ground right there. This has to be higher. I'm just going to run that up there for hovering purposes. All right, if we connect to here and run this just on the ground itself, what does that look like? Actually, that's not terrible. Yeah, we could probably work with that. All right, so then what if we come and wrap it around this way? It almost clears the ground. But what we could do, we can pick that stuff. We could try and raise it up here a little bit. Um, maybe even make this a an incline ramp. Uh, we want to. I think we want to aim that direction, more or less. So if we put that there, okay. I don't like how much it's curving, and it's still not clearing the ground here in at all. In fact, that almost seems worse. Okay, well then, in that case, what if we just run it to here? Because, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, we don't have to run it the full length every time. And then we'll just do this. That doesn't look bad. It's a little, a little bit lumpy, but not terrible. Okay. And we've got some bad bads up here. Uh, now, let's do a little bit of uh, surveying here. And we're going to need to get rid of these guys, too. Nope. Give me this.
Okay, so let's see. Our track's coming up this way, and... Let's get back over here for a second. So we want to just kind of run right through here. Um, I don't know if I can get through these trees without clipping. We can try it, though. So what I think I want to do here is grab the two beater angle. Take that. Well, actually, maybe not. What might be better is to flatten this for... Maybe two about here. Let's put this back on. Yeah, I think this is a better plan. Take that all the way to the end of there. Actually, maybe even turn it. A little more that direction. This vine's going to be in the way, but I'm probably not going to worry about that. Um, actually, no. Now that I look at it from this angle, I think we should keep it right about in the middle of this. Yeah, okay. So we're still inclining, but we might be able to get away with the two meter incline here. Right, let's just set that down for a minute. I really, really wish that we could cut down just this tree and not all the other trees around it. Uh, is this bush pickable? No, it's not. All right, well, if, <clears throat> excuse me. I think what we'll do is we'll lean more this direction. which means all this has to go here. Um, oh, that only took that tree away? How did that... How did that happen? It's exactly what I wanted to have happen. How do, doesn't it usually do like an area of effect where it takes a bunch of trees away? All right, I, f I figured it out. Uh, and actually, I knew this. I just completely forgot about it. If you uh, if you have your inventory completely full, so there's no room for the product, then it doesn't cut down the area of effect. It'll only cut down what you're aimed at. The wiki says that this is a bug. What I think the game should do is give us the ability to toggle off you know, toggle that. So either individual um, item uh, or area of effect. But as it happens, this is working uh, to our advantage. Anyway, um, now I want to try something else here. If we... What would happen if we... Okay, hold on a sec. I want to save the game. So, so we have a little bit of a of a lump right there. What would happen if we removed this section of track? And we <clears throat> just ran directly to there.
Well, okay, it smoothed out the lump, but now we're clipping into the ground. Okay, so if that's the case, what if we... We just need to raise things up here a little bit. Try that. <clears throat> Clipping in the ground there. Shit. Okay, so I think what that means is... Uh, here, let's... Let's put that there. Then grab you. Now, if we go from here to there, get rid of all this. That's, that's a little smoother. Yeah, okay. So yeah, it's just a matter of you know, working with the rails, and sometimes you need to relay the uh, the back uh, a previous section of the rail after you get the next section to get it to work okay. There is a little bit of a lump here, but I'm okay with that because it's kind of following the train. The train starts to level out a little more here, so I'm 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 okay with that. One thing I do think I might want to do though is let's rerun this again. But maybe more that way. Okay, so um, yeah, let's look. Okay, let's just leave that there. I probably can't reach all the way over no we're gonna have to have foundations okay so the idea now is that we're gonna we're gonna actually come out over this canyon but we're gonna curve this way and go up through there that's the idea so let's start that process by doing something to this effect Maybe even further out. Okay, let's just do that for the moment. We might want to, I, I think I might want to go through there. And so we need to aim that direction. And we could also 
get up a little higher too. Trying to, uh, there we go, fine tune the angle of this. Go in that direction. Okay. Let's go with that. Now, if we, from here, use a two meter angle, can we get, oh yeah, see, that's almost perfect. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. <clears throat> so, what would happen now if we take that down and... I know how to deal with this issue, actually. Here, let's put uh, that on for the moment. I'm going to bring that up at least, yeah, maybe three more there. Okay. Nope, that's not what I want you to do. That's what I want you to do. Okay, let's just run this. All the way up to here. And then we should be able to connect the other side into this nice and smooth like. It's a little bit of a dippity do there, but that's okay. I think I can live with that. Excellent. Now, of course, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to have some supports and things. But I think what I'll do, just in the interest of time, is we're gonna keep going. And I'll come back off camera and remove all the foundations and put supports in when we're done uh, running the actual rails. Just because here again, I'm, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this video is going to take a long time. All right. Now, we could potentially just go straight and level right through here. We might need to remove that one tree. If we went one higher, I wouldn't have to clear that brush out, I don't think. Yeah. All right, let's um, just keep going with that. For the moment. Yeah, this is just about perfect. So we're just going to remove this tree here. Inventory's full, so we won't cut anything else down. Or more specifically, we, we won't cut down any additional trees because they, the, and also the, uh, well, we have wood there. Oh, you know why? Because I freed up a, a spot by running more rails. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to really pay attention to that. But that's what... Uh, well, actually, that does kind of suck. I didn't want to remove all those trees. Uh, fuck. All right. When was my last autosave? Okay, I'm going to reload this autosave and redo this, and I'll meet you guys back at this point. All right, guys, uh, we're back to where we started from. Uh, well, back to where I started over, I should say. 
and I made sure my inventory was completely full before I cut the one tree down that was in the way here. And uh, now we're pretty clear through here. There's a couple of vines and stuff in the way, but uh, I, I want to preserve the feel of, you know, going through a, a forest on this part of the rails, um, you know, through the trees, so, so to speak. So we're going to keep those the way they are. The next part of this endeavor is that we're going to shoot up. We got a copper node right there. Uh, but we're going to shoot up right through there. Let's put our jetpack on here. So we start gaining altitude over here. Uh, oh, shit. There we go. Um, to go right up through here. And I think the way we're going to do that is we're going to actually start from up here and build a ramp downwards. So we do have... We could come through here. Um... Well, no, I, I, we need to keep climbing because we have to ultimately get up there to where the red forest is. So I think maybe we start the ramp from this level and aim just aim towards the rail and build it down on the on the right level that we want. Um and then from here we keep going up through here and through this little arch tunnel and out across the front of the waterfall as we continue to climb you know to get up to the top okay well let's get to this point here and then we'll we'll assess the situation Um, yeah, I think this is, this is where I was, right? Actually, no, maybe we were over on that ledge. So this might be the, a good starting spot. Unless we, well, I kind of want to go right through the center of here. Right. Okay. So let's go ahead and put a foundation down here. Um, I want to. want to be able to. Tip it a little bit, or not tilt, uh, tip it, but tilt it. Let's get to, onto vertical. There we go. Um, and then can't quite see where the rail is. I think that's probably the right angle there. I hope we don't. I hope I don't run into that little arch thingy right there. All right, let's build this up another, another foundation there. Okay, and then we want to... This four meter ramp is, yeah, it's not steep enough. We're gonna we're gonna need a steeper climb, so we're gonna have to go with the eight meter ramp. Just trying to think if I want to move it over. more to here. Uh, 
Uh, no, this one. Yeah, this, this definitely gets us underneath that little arch there. So no problems with that issue. All right, now what we're going to do is just kind of build this platform over this way a little bit so there's... foundations for the track to rest upon. So let's aim the track. Start aiming it towards there. So, I was afraid something like this might happen. Well, can we even put a track on that angle at all? Oh, we can't. Yeah, it's not going to let us do that regardless. Okay, so that means we're going to have to come up at a more gradual angle. Hmm. Yeah, it's not going to let us put a track on that angle at all. So, all right, let's let's rethink this then. Mm, you know, uh, yeah, this gets slams right into this wall here too. So I think we will go off of this one. Let's go with this shallower angle. Um, and we might, we should probably hold it back further too. Let's get rid of all of that stuff there. Get up a little higher. Okay, let's start taking this one down and just see what what we can do here. This is gonna kind of mess us up from getting down into the the trees there. Because we're going to have to start climbing above the trees. All right. Well, I guess, I mean, if we want to get to this point here... This is really our only option because we can't go any steeper than this. And in fact, I'm 
we'll have to, you know, we'll have to start curving that way. Maybe starting here, I'm thinking, but let's not worry about that. We just got to get the rail up here first. So yeah, I don't think we're going to have much of a choice. This is just going to have to go down wherever it goes down. And we'll have to adjust accordingly. We still, though, actually... Uh, let's maybe starting from here move it over I mean it'd be nice if we could make it just one straight thing but we have to work with the contour of the land as well what the hell just happened there oh <laughs> I'm going what Alright, this is actually good because it gets right down on our track there. Pretty much. We'll have to start the curve. Well, probably right about here. Okay, so let's let's break this piece of track. Um, we're probably gonna have to cut that that one tree down there because I really kind of need this to go as far to the right as it it will. This tree's going to have to go, unfortunately, but that's all right. It is what it is. Make sure our inventory's full. Um, just cut these guys all in half here. You know, uh, I think this tree has to go, too. There we go. Okay, so now what we could do is just... Here, let's bring this down here. I think I want to eventually get... In this uh, on the center line of this foundation here though so I'm going to kind of gradually go up to about here let's say right here um well that yeah that'll connect okay but let's actually Send it up this way. We might have to redo that one. Okay, I just want to look at this and make sure it doesn't look too jank. All right, let's try something different. Let's remove this. Let's just start the track right here. Uh, whoa, what the hell?
Oh, I know what. I think I have to start it on this end. No, I shouldn't have to. Like this? Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's not... Uh, yeah, that's not perfectly straight. That... I think that is. Yeah, let's get rid of that. So it doesn't interfere with... What we're doing. Well... A stupid... There's a stupid bug where sometimes the track... Even though it's powered, because you can see that it's lit up, it loses its power. It's really weird. Fuck. I don't have time for this shit. Okay. Um, let's try this again. So starting right here, we want this to go straight up the middle. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to redo this section. Will you work again? Yes. Now, can we make that connection? Uh, hmm. No, but what we could do is this. And it'll have the same effect. As long as it's straight, that's the important thing. Because if we go too far... If we go too far that way, it starts to curve more than we want it to. So what we're going to have to do is actually get over here and eyeball it. Okay, we want right down the center of this, but perfectly straight. That's probably okay, like that, actually. Yeah, okay. Um, I think that's perfectly straight. It seems to be curving a little bit. Don't know why. Hmm. All right, let's let's try and run it from like this. Okay, that is right smack dab in the center. And if we even back it up a little bit. Yeah, see, it's off. It's off of fr from that line a little bit. Which it's really weird. If we let's come back up here. See this this seems to be straight here. But if we go this way, it's just curving a little bit. And I think it must have something to do with maybe that one's not perfectly square. So let's do this in reverse then. Let's start the rail here. And then bring it back down this way. But we're going to stop it. Um, well, if we connect it in that way, does it stay? Oh, no, it's still curved. Okay. 
So let's just bring it to here. And then we'll reconnect this one again. And it doesn't screw up this track here because this is the important one, you know, since it's going to have such a long run, uh, we want this one to be perfectly straight. And I think that does, I think that does the trick. Okay. Yeah, if you're, uh, if you're OCD perfectionist like me, or try to be anyways, um, stuff like, you really gotta work with these tracks if you wanna get them looking nice. Otherwise, they just do some funky stuff. So we should be good from here on out now, um, at least up to the top of the ramp. Just running this nice and straight up there with no curves or lumps or anything weird. So let me go. We'll eyeball it again when we get up here. Make sure it continues to be straight. So all it takes is one nudge in the wrong direction and the whole thing goes haywire. Yep, that looks good. Okay. This is going to be a problem, but we can start curving though anyway, so because otherwise the train will smash into the side of the mountain there, of course. So I think what we should do is start the curve. shoot right through the middle of that arch there. Yeah, just right about there is good. Cool. Okay. So let's try this. Let's put a rail here. Make sure that's straight. And then we're going to rerun this one. quite reach there. Okay, that's fine. Then let's run this one maybe to here. This tree is going to have to go. two problems here. We've got a lump and we need to get over sooner. Okay, let's try this differently. What if we ran from here? That's not going to work either. 
We might need to move this over. Or start it. Further back. That might be the solution. happens if we we take it to here maybe Let's see what that looks like Okay, the track looks good, but oh my god, we're still really close to the edge of the cliff. Um, let's do this. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, so we got to come over further. That's all there is to it. Let's aim it through here. Yeah, I like that better. Um, this tree is going to have to go. That gives us plenty of clearance from the side of the mountain. The curve looks good on this end. Um, okay, so now we're going to have to yeah, actually if we can just bring this to here until it's perfectly straight and in the center, then we're golden. Uh, I want to say that's Probably the spot there. Let's see what happens. No, that is not the right spot. But here again, we could. We could potentially get it to do what we want it to do. Will that reach there? Yeah. Like this. I think that's the ticket. No pun intended. That looks nice and straight down through there. Okay, cool. We're making progress, ladies and gents. Making progress. All right, guys. Uh, let's continue on here. Uh, so we're going to bring this <coughs> platform out a little further. But what I think we're going to do is we're going to shoot for bringing the rails up to where that purple slug is by the waterfall. So let's go investigate that a little bit more. Um, I th think what I'd like to maybe do is wrap it around the other side of that little island the purple slug is on if we can you know get it to work correctly so let's just keep this temporarily going out this way the rail itself won't go this far out but I just want to get over to there all right 
got my jetpack on. Oh, no, I don't have it on. Got him. Okay. Um, I've got quite a few radiation filters, so I think we're going to be okay with that. You know what I might do, though, is let's just get rid of this and we'll uh, either dump it out or trash it. Actually, I don't know if we can trash this. Just we're going to find out in a second. Can't remember. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. Let's get the other parts, too. Since we're going to be working in the area for a little while. Okay. That takes care of that. Let's grab the purple slug. Beautiful. All right. So, the idea here is to run... Uh, up through here. Oh shit, there's more uranium. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's get back to here now. And we're going to set down a foundation. Let's make this a, a four meter. Um, we're gonna need to go a little higher than this. Did get us above the water, I think so. Okay, let's bring that out to there. Actually. Kind of want to be right in the center here. Uh, okay, so let's try this first. Whoops. God, I hate that. <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to want the rail to kind of curve up and come around this way. So... You know what? Here, let's remove this... I'm going to lock that, whoops, uh, lock that there and move it over to there. Come on, let, let, let go of that. Now, I want you to get right on the edge there. Well, it's okay. We can just run it to there for the moment.
Okay, so now if we take probably this angle here, No, that's not going to work. Okay, let's go out one more this way. And zoop this down to here. So that then <clears throat> all right now if we I think we can and can and we'll probably need to hold this back even further So let's start it there. And I'm just going to do that. Okay. Now, let's grab this. You're not going to Yeah, you're not going to be able to make it all the way down there. I think what we need to do is this. All right, let's bring this rail out. Okay, that's as far as it'll go. Now what we want to do is bring it up. Let's... Uh, okay, how high? How far can I go? Okay, right to there. Let's try it right here. Too sharp. Okay, so we could we could push this back even further. Let's start it right here. There we go. Ah, that, that's, I think that's going to look good. Oh, yeah. We don't have any excessive lumps. Um, looks like we have plenty of clearance. I like it. I like it. Okay. Yeah, you bastard. Can't get any higher than this. Got him. Okay, cool. Um, now, 
The next part of this endeavor is to try and see if we can get the rails to reasonably neatly curve through the river here. Let's take that all the way down to there. I want to redo this rail. That should theoretically be straight. If it does the weird curve thing. Uh, no, I think we're good. Okay. I really like the way that worked out, actually. Okay, so here's how I think we need to accomplish this. If we put you here and start you right there, we want to kind of follow the, the straight portions of the, let's put that in vertical mode. Oh, wait. Vertical mode. I'm hitting the wrong buttons here. There we go. And now I'll put it back to zoop. Right, okay, so we want to follow kind of the straight-ish portions of the the little brook here. So probably starting here and then over to here. Just little guys. Can't see what the hell I'm doing. There's a third one. Uh, I thought there was a third one. Yeah, right up here. A yellow slug over here. Here, let's stop off. Because we got a big a big guy over here. Let's see if we can get this before he charges us. Oh, he's just stuck? Sucks to be you, bud. Okay. Alright, let's take a look at this curve. Okay, that looks good. Now we want to... Uh, no. Put you there. I think I might want to move it over to there. Yeah. Okay, good. Now let's get underneath here and zoop to about uh, there. Let's 
See, the reason I'm not using the, the rail's natural curve is that it turns too sharply. So I can't get to that point before it's already... Well, I mean, I suppose... If we... This could work. Let's just set it down and see what it does. Is it pointing... So it's it's pointing a little too far to the right. So let's do this again, but we'll bring it more like to here. That I still think it's a little too far to the right. So We bring it more over here. Oh, cannot be nudged. So that could work. Uh, all right, so let's put this here. Move it that way. Maybe even a little more than that. Let's say right about... Yeah, right about there. Yeah, you know, I don't want to do it this way. I could do it this way, but I think it's just simply going to be easier if we run the straight pieces individually and then tie them in. Oops, I'll try that again. Mr. Bean's running from something. He may have just gotten poisoned. this this method a little bit better and we have a, just a little bit more control over it I think the only thing I am thinking here though is that we do another section so let's bring this to about here Then we want to turn this more that way, I think. Eh, maybe not quite that much. Yeah, like that. Okay. And then I think we'll start it here. What's this going to look like? Now, um, let's start this another tile down. We'll start it right here. See, I lost power again. I don't know why that happens. It's very irritating. 
See, that's better. That's a nice smooth. It's not like kind of going that way a little bit first like it was before. Well, now we got power back. Yeah, I like this. This works. Okay. So this corner in is going to be... Um, I might actually not go through there. I think we'll just go through there and kind of up over that for this because it's uh, it's just going to be a little bit too much weaving and bobbing, I think. So maybe right there. Okay. Oh. Nope. I need to go over further even. Maybe more like that. Yeah, that's good. We might, we're probably going to have to cut that back a little bit too. Get rid of that nasty plant. Um, and we're also going to need to start raising this up too, which is fine to get over this. So why don't we put uh, that doesn't here, get rid of this. I think I'll go up two ramps. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to cut this back, but here, let's, let's start it. Uh, we'll try it here. Um, and then let's take you back. Let's take you to here and let's see if this will work. We have a nice curve there. Hmm, I almost, almost think I feel like we should come over a little more. So, yeah, let's try this instead. So we'll get rid of you, get rid of you. And then maybe start you right here. That straight? I think so. Alright, how's that look? It does have a little bit of a 
you know, it kind of goes that way just a smidge. I think we can fix that by just starting this one another tile over. So starting it right here. Alright, now let's look at it. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Beautiful. If we really wanted to get picky, we could maybe make that corner not quite so sharp, but I think it's okay. I think we're going to leave that the way it is. All right, now the next question is... Do we want to go around that way? That's going to be a pretty damn sharp curve. Or do we want to actually start curving here and go up through there? Probably would be a good idea to, to go through here. So what that means then is we put, we take that back down, um, and hmm, we start. We're gonna have to start the curve sooner. Maybe start it here. Put that fucking thing away. Go up four. Um, we probably don't want to go this high. But also, we don't want to clip into the ground either. I'm just going to see what the rail does. Hey, doggo. I think we'll just maybe aim for right through there. Well, let's just get to this point first, and then we'll, we'll worry about that later. Chances are these this brush is going to have to go, but let's see what it does. Alright, if we pull that back to there, we have just a tiny bit, a bit of... Well, actually, yeah. There's not enough clip in there for me to worry about it. That doesn't give me any heartburn. And that's just about perfectly aimed. Well, here, let's not do it like that. Let's do it like this. I want you to... Uh, so damn picky. Okay. Finicky. I think I want you to go there. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I had it a second ago. There. Got some bees down there. Okay, now let's take the rail 
And we'll start it right here. That's straight. It's... Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Now let's see how this hook up, hooks up. I think that looks pretty good. It's got a little bit of a bump right there. Um... Not sure what to do about that. Unlo okay, let's try this. What if we go from here back down there? What's it going to do? Mm, it still has the bump, but you know what? I don't think I'm going to worry about that. That's not that big a deal. The only thing I can think of is if we let's get rid of um actually let's get rid of all this. This is, hasn't even done anything to help us. All right, what would happen if we flatten that out a little more? Is that? Oh, that's weird. That's already lifted off off of there. I think if we do it this way, it's it's just gonna move the bump over to here, probably. I'm only going to try this once, and if it doesn't work, I'm just going to reload because it's borderline insignificant to me to even be messing with it. But let's just do this. Let's grab you. Let's. Oh, shit. Uh, where are we at? We're right there. Okay, let's just bring you to here. And then down to there. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, okay. I like it. Beautiful. Okay, that's what we're going to go with. All right, let's take a look at the next section here. Uh, we, we need to start thinking about turning to the west. Um... Got full health, right? Yeah. Let's just. Oh, shite! I'm not gonna have full health for long. I did not know that guy was there. Good God. Got him. Holy shit, that is scary, man. It's like just about the most dangerous creature you can run into. Uh, I found out that these guys are considered elite spiders. Uh, I don't know where his giblets went. Oh, they're, yeah. He gets stuck in the air, which is funny. All right. Well, that was exciting. Uh, any more? <laughs> Oh, that's what he's guarding. There's a hard drive there. Uh, 
Is there another one? The thing was pretty well hidden. Oh, you want to you want one quantum computer. Okay, we have another one in the swamp that wanted one of those too. All right. Anyway, what I was saying was it takes way more than it should in my opinion, um exploding rebars to kill the the bees. So I'm just going to run up to it and manually melee it. Steps. I just don't know where they're at. There's a purple slug in the water. Beautiful. It's a nice little pond over here. All right. Can I even make quantum computers? They don't even show up. I know we're, uh, I know we'll be able to make them in 1.0. It's just weird that that would be a requirement if that's not something we can make yet. Weird. Okay. Well, if that's the case, there's no point in marking it because we'll never be able to get it. Back to this. All right, let's take a look at our map. Uh, we are almost parallel with our train or uranium train station. Uh, so I think what we'll do, let's see, we're coming in this direction. We could go. Yeah, we should probably start thinking about turning right around here. All right, so let's get you up here. Turn you this way. Uh, yep, that looks correct. Run you a little bit further that direction. And let's start you right here. Take you all the way to the edge. See what it does. Nice smooth curve there with no bumps or weird glitches. Nope. Looks beautiful. Beautiful indeed. All right. Now, let's see here. So, yeah, we are damn near where we need to be. What I think might actually make sense at this point is for me to go to the train station and come back to this point from there. So that way we, we're straight on. Because what I don't want to do is I don't want to guess from here and then find out that I'm off a little bit. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little marker here. Uh, actually, we can just use a stamp. Ooh, how about we just use, I don't know, doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll use a water drop because it's near the water. Okay, so that's where we need to get to. All right, let's switch over to our, our jet pack and work our way over to our train station. Might as well grab the purple slug. this way. I think we looked at that drive a long time ago and we didn't get, oh shit, we didn't get to it because of radiation. It needs a super position oscillator. I'm going to guess that might also be something we can't make. We can check that in a little bit here. Whoa. Let's get over to our train station. Okay, so this part's going to be lemon squeezy. We're just going to run, oh, you know what, I should have set that up over the center of the tile, which we still can do, actually. Oh, uh, yeah, why don't we do that? The thing is, though, is we need a marker. So it's got to be, it's got to be lined up with the edge of that. Okay. Oh, we ran out of room for stuff. What do we got in here? Oh, I bet you, the, shit, I bet you this is loaded with uranium. Oh, fucking A, man. Okay. Didn't even think about that. All right, here. No, nope, not a big deal. Uh. Let's just grab, well, here, I'll put you there. All right, just store a bunch of shit in there, except for not my masks. Okay, grab all of you, put you in here. There we go. Okay, all is well. And we want to be on the, let's see, what, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, we want to be on the fourth foundation here. Train station going this way. Oh, we need computers, concrete, and cable. Computers, concrete, and cable. Let's do this again. Train station going this way. Right in the center of this tile and lined up with the edge of you. I think that's just what the doctor ordered. Okay. 
And then this needs to be a freight platform, which we need some motors for. Take those. Uh, no, freight platform there. And if we did all that right, that should be lined up with that, which it isn't. How did I not do that right? Really? Sometimes I amaze myself, and not in a good way. Alright, so we need to go... Here, hop up here. One, two... No, let's not do it that way. Let's use... I've got the wrong toolbar, that's why. I want a floor hole. One... Two, right? Yeah, one, two. We need to go two floor holes back. One, two. Okay. Try this again. Train station turned this way. On the center here. And then uh, bring it this way. Let's see if this works right. Freight platform. That's what the doctor ordered. All right. Just do this. Oh, I need to get these. Logistics Mark Five. Oh no! I needed to go the other direction. Damn it! Alright, we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, now we did it right. Let's grab Mark V belt and we'll just feed all of that uranium back into there, except for why... Why is it stopped? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I know why. It needs power. That works. And the uranium's flowing. Okay, beautiful. Just let that fill itself back up. Okay, back in business. Um, now, I'm basically just going to run this straight out over the top of the trees until we get um, back to where we need to intersect and then we'll we'll ramp down from there. Those two big trees there. Well, we might we might be able to go right through the right between them. We'll see. I was going to check something. That thing was called some something or other oscillator. Yeah, see, the only thing we can make is a crystal oscillator. And we've we've unlocked every milestone. So I think whatever that oscillator thingy is, along with quantum computers, uh, are not something we can make until 1.0. So maybe they just kind of set it up in advance to use those, which still doesn't really make sense for... People not playing 1-0, but whatever. I don't lose any sleep over it. But I'm also not going to mark it for us to grab later because we won't be able to. I 
think we might be able to pull this off. Oh yeah, look at that. No problemo, man. Okay, cool. The top of the train might brush those leaves a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about that. Alright, let's get our hover on and go grab this yellow slug. And there's our track down there, so yeah, we already... Well, we definitely don't want to go any... Wouldn't have wanted to go any further. Um, we could cut through there, but I kind of like the going out around that lake there just for visual purposes. So I think what we'll do here is let's grab... Uh, what if we try this? No, that's not going to go down far enough. Okay, yeah, we're going to need this ramp here. Go down to this tree. Uh, looking at it from here, I'm thinking probably one more. I wonder if we could neatly wrap it around that big tree. That's, that's going to be a really sharp curve. All right, well, the first thing we'll do is let's just get these. Oh, I'm out of concrete. Well, that's not a surprise. I'd like to preserve that big tree if we can. Um, all right. I'm going to go back, guys. I'm going to cut the camera, go back, and pick up um, all the concrete. Because I'm got. i going to have to do this anyways, right? That I've laid down, and then I'll meet you back here. All right, guys. I'm back. Um, I think what we're going to do is, is cut through here like this. Um, so let's run the track down to almost right before, hmm, I wonder if that's going to clear the locomotive, uh, right before that tree, before we start curving it over, and then we'll see what we can do from there. We'd have to start the curving there. Let's see, does the train clear that? bulbous plant no it's, it hits the hits that leaf there uh, we could actually cut that though that's this guy right here all right let's make sure we're all of our slots are taken up whoops don't want to hit the sort button after you do that Oh, can we not cut these? Ah, shit. Okay, I guess we can't. All right, well, then we'll have to start the curving a little bit sooner then. Even if we went to there, is it going to clear it? Yeah, it's just barely going to clear it. Okay. Um, I think, well, actually there's another, there's another thing we could do, and that is hold this back a tile. So let's run it to, oh, that wasn't very smart. <laughs> oh, well, we'll follow the water. Um, yeah, we'll hold it back to there. Come on. While we're down here, we might as well get rid of all this. All right. 
now we should be able to curve it far enough away without making it too sharp. Let's try that. And it looks like we just miss it. I'm assuming the freight cars are not any higher than the locomotive. But yeah, that, we should be able to work with this. Okay, now... Um, I think... If we go to here... And... Let's bring these out to here. Stop it. I might need to redo this whole thing so it comes more like this. But let's just see what it does. Um, I mean, that is one option, of course, right there. That's quite the curve, though. I'd almost rather, rather have the curve be a little more gradual. Or, I don't think this is going to look good, but let's just see what happens if we do this. Where's the next... Uh... All right, let's go back over here. What if... Okay. Let's run this more gradually this way. I mean, I guess that could work. Yeah, I uh I think we'll we'll do this. Yeah, I think we'll go with this. Okay. So uh, let's clear out all this bamboo, and I actually want to do an area of effect clear here. Okay, I got that one out of the way. That works. All right, cool. I'm going to uh, pick up all the concrete again, uh, all the way over to the train station. And I'll meet you guys over there. All right, guys, we are ready to start the next part of this uh, endeavor here. Um, the return trip back to the factory. So I think we're going to shoot straight out here for a little ways. 
um, until we get over near our radar tower there. And then we're going to drop down and we're going to, the plan is to uh, follow this river here uh, pretty much all the way through here and then out over this waterfall and down. Um, and uh, there are, there's at least one, maybe even two green of the green bad bads down there. They're probably the ones that I was expecting over at the uranium node a couple episodes ago. Uh, but they wandered further away or something. I don't know. Um, but I think what we'll do here is we want to aim that way. So maybe we'll start going down that direction from here. Um, let's get track out here so we can hover. Okay, so that's two lengths of track right there. Um, now, I want to... I think I want to drop down through there. So let's go ahead and... move you this direction, pointing down there. Uh, maybe actually uh, here, try that again more this way yeah I think that's right Yep, there he is right there, little fucker. Or big fucker. <laughs> Depending on how you look at it. Alright. I don't know if he can get all the way up here or not. Probably not. Oh shit, almost can. I guess that's one way to clear out some of the brush. Oh man, he moves right before I get a shot off. Okay, let's let him jump. Wait till he jumps again. Got him. <laughs> Sucker. All right. Uh, I think what it would look like if we ran it from here. Yeah. I like that better. Okay, so... run that to there I want to I wanted to kind of cut down through here though and then go right through here and then follow the river from here so that's that's what we're gonna attempt to do so that means we need to change our angle here a bit more
So let's cut this back here. And put you there and then put you right about there maybe. No, I turned it I turned it too uh, sharply. Try that again. Maybe more like that. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay. Um, I guess I can't hover quite yet. Uh, right. Wait, what is that doing? There. That's what I need. Now, we could either stay up a little higher here. And come to here and then drop down this way. Or we could drop down and come through the channel there. I think dropping down and through the channel would be cooler. So let's do that. I'm going to move you back to here. And then to connect you to here. And go down that way. All right, we'll come to here and then come to here. And then we want to shoot. And we're going to need to aim that way. I don't, man, I don't know if we can, if we can do a nice straight all the way through without any curves at all. It's possible. Let's just, let's mess with it a little bit. We'll put that there and then let's just see what that does. I'm not worried about height right at the moment. I'm just, I just want to get a nice straight line. So if we stay on this line, we're going to run, uh, well, we might just barely miss that, but we need to really kind of be more, we got to aim, you know, right through the center of that thing is what we got to do. Which is... Now that I look at it again, it's almost another tile over from here. And, and even then some more. Well, yeah, it's we're probably not going to be able to do a, a perfectly straight line through here. We're going to have to curve it, which is fine. Okay, let's pick all this back up. I think we can work with this line for the first part, though. All right, so let's get you down there and run you out to there. And we want to get a 
I'm gonna say right let's start it here and then we'll see if we need to adjust it so we have a, a nice straight um, you know edge to connect into when we come around the corner here this foliage is gonna have to go um, and I think we'll just do area of effect. Uh, we could probably leave that stuff there. All right, now let's... Right about there. I'm guessing we're probably going to want to start this at least here, if not even further down. But we'll try this one first. All right, let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks good. That's perfect. Okay, cool. All right, once again, I'm going to pick up the concrete as we go. Uh, I know I said I would do that off camera, but the thing is, I I need it because I <laughs> I keep running out. So, all right, now what we're gonna do is that is nice and straight, right? Yeah. Okay, let's grab some rail here, and um, I'm guessing we start it here. Let's see what happens. Maybe to there. But we'll worry about this corner after we get this one done. Let's also remove this. Okay, how does that curve look? Uh, works for me. Okay, nice. All right, this one, let's see what that does. Yeah, I think that's great. Let's check the train for clearance. Yeah, I don't think that's a problem at all. Beautiful. All right, keep on keeping on. Okay, right here we're just gonna go down to the water, or almost to the water. Yeah, that's good. And we'll go right through there. Probably to right around there-ish. And then we're going to have to angle around. Let's check our clearance here. Oh, man, that's close. In fact, <laughs> I think it's just maybe barely... No, it's... Eh. There. Let's just set it down. Oh, my God. That is so close. Um... Oh, I know what the solution is. Yeah, this is actually way easier than I'm making it out to be. We just need to start the... The slant earlier the slope rather yeah duh there we go I love it all right now we're gonna have to turn this way a bit so I think let's 
let's put you here. Can I hover still? Here, let's bring you closer. Okay. Maybe there. There. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I actually want to pick you back up. And let's start you maybe two tiles in here. See if we get a nice curve from this. I like that. And then we have to aim straight for that opening there, which is probably that. Mm, we could we could come over just just a Nat's eyebrow. Maybe even one more notch than that. Yeah, I like that one. Um, we could stand to move over even just a little more, so we're more kind of right in the center of the crick here. So what I'm going to do is lock that and then nudge it. That gets us kind of close to that rock there, though, doesn't it? Yeah, let's go with this. We're going to have some bee plants to fight down there. But the idea is that we're going to go right down through, uh, right through the the top of these little arch thingies and then dog leg to the left a little bit out over the waterfall. This is going to be really cool. <laughs> I love this. Okay, so let's get side pieces here. We might need to push this back just a little bit. Uh, or maybe even... Hmm, actually, yeah, let's try something here. Why don't we start this... Two in. It is straight, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, is it? What I'm thinking here is get rid of this, get rid of this, a 
run you to maybe here. I don't know if that's going to be long enough, but let's see. Not quite. Okay. So let's bring you two more tiles this way. Alright, what does that look like? I like it. I think that looks really good. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Okay, let me pick up the concrete. Okay, so we've got these uh, B plants we have to deal with. Um, what I want to do, though, is I want to... Turn you this way, maybe? I think that's... Yeah, that's probably about the right angle, but we're gonna, we need to... We need to move it over a little bit. to there. Oh, shit. Try that again. Actually, here, put that one down first. Alright, lock that there, and then slide it over to about there, I think. Let's get rid of you. No, I think uh, he needs to go back over a couple more notches. All right, a second. One, two. Let's try that. Of this one. I'm just using the center line to aim, right? I think that's probably about where we want to be. What happens if we soup down this way? Yeah, that's good. That is very good. Um, alright. I'm taking care of these assholes. Let's see if we can... I don't have the right weapon with me for this. Um, I have cluster... Well, gas isn't going to do anything on these guys. Well, I don't think it will. I'm going to try it. Um, I mean, I don't really want to nuke him. <laughs> it would be a waste of a nuke. Let's just see what happens. I don't know if this will work or not. Oh! Well, it sure works on the bugaboos. Huh. It didn't seem to damage the pod, though. All right, let's um, let's do this. Let's come down here. Oh wow, that water's not very deep at all. We have. We have gas masks, too, so we're fine. Uh, 
Um, gas novelisk. Hey, come over here, assholes. Of course, by the time they get over here, it wears off, naturally. Let's get this. Come get me. How come it's not killing him? That's bullshit. Is there, is there anything under that rock? I don't know. Huh. Grab those, and then I think we can proceed here. Hmm. I am still thinking I might want to get over. Just a little more because of that, you know, that lower arch there. Let's, let's go with that. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. Let's remove that. And we'll bring this rail out to about here. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start this one. We'll try it here first. Um, mm, let's go down one more. How's that look? I think we're good. I don't see any glaring problems with this. Yeah, we're good. All right. Okay, so now. Uh, I might actually, uh, you know what, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have taken the foundations down yet. Shit. 
Uh. Alright, what happens if I... Wait, where the hell did that foundation go? If I do a vertical... I don't know. Yeah, damn it, I shouldn't have taken that down yet. I don't... It's going to be really difficult to put it back the way that it was, but I got an, uh, yeah, fuck. All right. Well, whatever. We'll make it work. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. So, okay. Do I want to go? I think that this is water is just, yeah, this is shallow water. So we could go straight through here. Man, I wish I wouldn't have taken that foundation down. And uh, yeah, I think that I think that'll work. All right, so let's put down a foundation here. That's weird. Look how my hypertubes are showing up. Way, way down off in the distance. How bizarre. Okay, what we have, we need to change this because it's not lined up right. Let's see. Even one more than that. I want, you know, more or less parallel with the edge of the falls. Which it still isn't. So if we... this on top here. That might be right there. No, that's it needs to come back. To there maybe? Even, even another to there. Uh, that's that's pretty good there. Okay, that's where that's where we want to be. All right, now. Soup. We want to move over. To there, maybe? Yeah, that looks good. Um, or, well, maybe just one... nudge that way.
Yeah, I like that. I have my jetpack on, right? Uh, yeah. Woohoo! Look at that. Okay. Yeah, I, I really just screwed this up. I wonder if I can... Fix it by... To, oh, what the hell? Well, that's weird. Okay, let's lay down ramps here. I think we need to be, if we want to avoid a hump, we need to be another tile or two that way. We want this to come to almost underneath that. Yeah, that's... Okay, let's do this. back to there. That's probably about as close as we're going to get it. want to do is probably starting I'm guessing here with that rail there that look I think it needs to come out this way a little bit more before it curves around So the first way we're going to try this is we're going to actually start this another tile up. Try that first and let's see what that does. Where does that go to? That goes to there. Okay. See, the problem is that this is curving to the left too soon. So we might have to replace this piece as well. that yeah that's that's not gonna work um all right I since I can't hover I'm just gonna kind of try and guess this um so we're gonna put it kind of right in this corner here to start and then I'll kind of use that as my reference point. 
Oh, yeah, that's definitely too far because now it's... Well, all right, what if we ran this up to here? That's too sharp of a corner. Okay, what if we ran it up to here? Also too sharp of a corner. All right, then what we'll do is... Run this more to the edge of this ramp. Try that. Does that look pretty good? Um... It's, go it's going too far over this way. That's the problem. So I think... Can we reach this from here? Well, it's, just, uh, it's the same thing we just did. Duh. Alright. So... Alright. What if we... Bring this down even lower. Let's try it. I don't know if it'll reach there, but let's see what that does. Yeah, we're going a little too far to the right that way, and then it's curving back this way. I don't like that. We might be able to have fix that by moving this over to the right a little more. Let's try it right there. I think I like that. I think that works for me. I don't see any really glaring lumps or crooked spots. It does it does have a little bit of a dip down right here, but under the circumstances, can probably live with that. We might even be able to... No. I think we're going to not worry about that. Because it's not, it's not terrible. It's a little bit of a dip here, but again, I can live with it. Okay. So now that we know that's good, now I should be able to take this concrete down. I just shouldn't have, shouldn't have taken it down as soon, uh, you know, when I did the first time, because then we could have backed it up a little bit, but it's all right. Yeah, it does, it does have that little dip there, doesn't it? But hmm. the only way it, that I can think of that I can fix that is if I'd, I'd have to go all the way back there again and try and redo the foundation so that it's all even. Um, And that's, I guess that's a good argument for keeping all your foundations in place until you're completely done. Which I should have done, and I should have just gone back to the base and gotten more concrete. But, I mean, yeah, it's okay. I'm going to force myself to not worry about it. Or if, if it does keep me up at night, I'll fix it off camera. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's proceed. Let's get our 
jetpack on. So the idea here now is that we're gonna we're gonna start dropping down, but then we're gonna curve around to that little plateau there, and then from that plateau there, we're gonna go either through there or through there. I haven't decided yet. So let's start the drop off. I mean, I it, I could just go straight back to the station from here, but we're trying to make this kind of fun, right? So. And it doesn't look like we're going to be... Uh, I don't think we want to come this far down. I think we're going to want to start curving it that way from maybe here-ish. So let's pick those back up. that there and then turn this no it needs to go that's too too much of an angle it needs to go more this way I'll bet oops I think that'll work. Wait, what? What? E uh, yeah, you. Okay. Start souping this down this way. This actually is kind of nice because it's aiming us right through that, almost exactly through the center of this little arch right here. Which means I think we'll go that way then we're gonna have to flatten things out here at this point so we could well we have three options really we could turn left and go through there but I want to the only thing I don't like about that is then we're still going to have a, a pretty steep drop on the other side. I'd almost rather keep going down and either go down through here and then around and intersect with the rail or even maybe through this smaller area. So let's get the rail down to here and then we'll, then we'll go from there. I think we'll start the rail here. See what that curve ends up looking like. Not sure if that one's going to reach. Not quite. Okay, so we'll come all the way to the edge of here then. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's okay. This is going to be one hell of a ride when we're done with it. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm excited. I mean, obviously I'm making this this railroad way longer than I need to. But, again, like I said earlier, this is maybe the last railroad that we do in this series. And so I wanted it to, wanted to kind of go out with a bang, you know. All right, let's not actually run uh, lay that one down yet. Um, it's too bad this little piece is here because now we're going to have to put a little bit of a bump in it, but there's nothing for it because otherwise it's going to clip through the train, which is not acceptable under any circumstances. I'm just thinking, what if we re- did this ramp starting from here then we wouldn't have this little bump here I, th I think I think we can and I think we should but I will do that off camera I'll be right back all right guys I reran the the rail uh, starting from this point uh, so that way we don't have a, a little bump in it everything here uh, so let's go down here now and kind of assess what we might want to do. So we could keep just going down through here and then wrap around and intersect with the rail that way. Or we could cut down and go through here to this little tunnel. Um, Probably if we if we went this way, we'd probably start wrapping. I, I'd kind of want to wrap around this part of the mountain here, just just for funsies, a at least part way around, and then maybe to that point, and then shoot uh, for the rail there. If we if we decided to come this way, so that's one option. And then the other option is we cut through here. I kind of like the idea of cutting through here. Um, plus the fact that I think I'm going to kind of make a guess here on when we would want to start curving through there. Probably right around here. Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we go through through here? It just seems like the fun, the funner idea. Go back down here to get the rest of these picked up. Oh, for goodness sakes. All right. We got everything over there, right? Okay. Let's come back up to, I don't know, here maybe. There we go. Okay. So we'll put a put you there and you there. I think we need to turn it maybe more this way. Maybe even more that way. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Okay. So let's run this down through here. Uh, wow, that... Uh, it doesn't go down quite as steep as I wanted it to. Okay, let's move that back. We can't use this when we... We already discovered earlier that that's too steep of an angle. Will this even... Uh, I don't know if this... This will work. I don't think it will. Pretty effective way of killing these assholes. Oh, I don't know what's down there. Okay, so yeah, we're we're gonna have to we gotta get lower. Um, I'm not sure how we do that. Could we... Let's try something different here. Why don't we get the steep ramp? Uh, yeah, right there. And just bring it down to it's kind of being a pain in the ass here. Okay, now let's try this. Yeah, I mean, even that, I'm not sure if that's going to work well. Here, we can test it. We have clearance. Mm, man, if we do, it's just... Barely, but we do have a little bit of room on this side, so we could move. And put that train there. Yeah, we could we could probably just nudge these foundations over to the uh, to the south, just a little bit, and I think that would work. All right, so if we do if we do this, put that there. I'll bring it all the way over to yeah, probably right there. I think we can get away with this. To make sure I'm only hitting it on the very far Okay, let's just double check this.
Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So, now the question is, can we... Can we make this angle work here? I'm going to start this rail... Uh, let's start it right here. And we might need to go down. I don't think that's going to reach, though. Okay, let's try it right... Start, start it here, and then we'll see what happens. We may have to bring that other one down this way a little more. Oh, we definitely will have to. There's no way that's going to reach. I don't think. Okay. So, yeah, let's go to, say, there. Now, can we... Oh, it's going to work. If I can get it to... There. All right. Let's get rid of all of this stuff. I think that's okay. Yeah. I don't see any major issues with this. <clears throat> All right. Well, there you go. It looks pretty good. <sighs> okay, so at this point... I think we do another curve to kind of aim for that little point on the rock there. And then the rest of it will just be intersecting with the with the main rail. So why don't we have let's see, we'll come straight through here and maybe we'll start the curve right here. And we want to aim for that point. Uh... I think I want it to turn it clockwise just one more notch from that yeah it's it's <clears throat> it's really hard to well this could actually work if we just move it we put it there and move it right about there-ish. Yeah. That'll work. Okay. Um, no. Actually, I don't want to zoop that out. I want to grab you and move you down that's pro I'm sure that's a little too far down, probably, but that's okay. We'll, we'll start with that. Uh, no. Go to gas.
I have to say, man, poison noblis are quite useful. They are indeed. More useful than I thought they would be. gas novelists, I guess is what they're called. Uh, let's go see what's tucked in behind here. I don't know. Oh, I hear it. It's a yellow slug. All right. Not enough space for yellow power slug. Uh, let's go ahead and... Don't really want to get rid of anything. All right. You know what? I'll come back for that slug later. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, so we definitely don't need to come down this far. Um, what I want to do is... Uh, let's put this back on. Let's go over to the track here. Um, okay, here's an intersection point there. But probably this is the one that we'll want to use so it's a, not such a sharp turn. Okay, so let's let's bring this out to there and Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Stop it. Uh, all right, so now I think what we want to do is start maybe right about here and move this. Let's just take it for the moment to here. Oh, we got a spot available now. Okay. Got a little bit of a bump. It's not terrible, but I think we can make that go away by moving this down another tile. So starting it on that line right there. Now let's take a look at it. I don't know if that really made a whole lot of difference, but you know what? It's not bad. I think it's okay. Yeah, it's just got a little bit of a lump right there. Um, I 
What would happen if... What would happen if we just removed this ramp altogether? Okay, put that there. Oh, that didn't start on the on the edge. Here, let's do this. Why are you turned the other way? Cut it out. Alright. It's, uh, ugh. It's being weird. Can we connect these two? Yes. That's nicer. Yeah, I like that much better. Okay, cool. So I think we're, we can safely remove these now. This train is just going to be screaming down this hill, man. It's going to be going so fast. That's awesome. Okay, and then we just kind of gradually move it this way until it intersects. Okay, where is the intersection point? I think it's right here. Yeah, it's going to be right there. Okay, so we want to... We want to just kind of nice and s smoothly aim towards that spot. I'm going to say maybe right there. Let's see what it looks like. No, we're going to have to come to the right a little bit. Okay, let's r remove that foundation because we know we need to move to the right of that. That one. So let's let's try right about here. Oh, uh, I think that's okay. Wait a minute. What the hell is this? I don't think it actually intersected. There, now it did. Nope, it still needs to come over. Even just a little more. Okay, so... So let's try it right there. I, okay, I want to try something. Let's try something different. Let's actually come off of here and come this way. We'll just see if we can eyeball aim. Maybe there? No, there's a little bit of a... of a twist in this. Put you... over to the left a little more.
All right, I got a different idea. Let's get rid of all of this. I know this is very minor stuff, but you guys know me. We want to make it look good. Got some crates down there. Okay, so now... What the hell's on all these crates? Concrete, probably. Yeah. Uh, we don't need this wood. Can we run... to here and make sure it's perfectly straight? I think that's perfectly straight there. We'll be able to tell as long as there's no nothing crooked. Um, that's beautiful. That's about as perfect as we can get it. See, it was worth just a little bit of extra finagling. All right, cool. Looks good, you guys. Looks really good. Okay, so here's what's going to happen now. Um... We need to put um, I think we need to put a path signal here. All right, guys. Um, it has been many hours uh, since the last clip on this video. And um, I had no idea what a challenge working with these signals was going to be. I figured we'd just kind of wing it at the end of this video and be done with it, and <laughs> no. So here's the long and short of it, and I have to be quick here because uh, I, I have recorded so much footage, uh, you know, I, you know, just the raw footage that I'm almost running out of space on my recording drive, so I can't take too long to do this because um, i got to get those files processed and then off my drive. Uh, but anyway, um, the long and short of it is this. <clears throat> Path signals can't um you can't have train stations included in the path um that that's really why i've had so much trouble getting this to work okay so real quick what a path signal is supposed to do is it supposed to create or, or actually what it does is it reserves sections of track um so that other so it'll prevent other trains from traveling on those sections for the current train that's doing the reservation okay um they, they're really they're just kind of confusing i mean they're not but they are i don't know it's just weird it's hard, it's hard to get your brain around it a little bit and, and that's fine and good and i got that to work quite well over there which i will show you but i just could not get the goddamn things to work over here by the train stations because again you can't include train stations in the path and so i was trying to figure out ways to work around that by stopping the path here with a block signal you know uh, in advance and then using other block signals in between to prevent um you know everything all being one block because here's the thing you know when i <clears throat> when i activate the signal you can see different colored sections of this track right so those are called block signals and i'm not going to get into the mechanics of that there's several tutorial videos out there if you guys really want to understand it but the long and short of it is that this if, if there's a train anywhere on this colored section, then it, it will block any other trains from coming through. And so if you put a block signal way, way down there, and then you put another one way, way down there, everything in between those signals is one block or one section. So you have to, you have to kind of do this in such a way that, um, you know, you have smaller block sections, so you don't block an, an enormous amount of unnecessary track. Okay. So hopefully that makes quick sense, but just, you know, Google trains satisfactory train signals. There's, there's plenty of tutorial videos out there on it. So anyway, the long and short of it is, uh, after fighting with this for many hours, um, I, I'm able to get these trains from colliding, but I can't get them from blocking each other. Um, and all the different configurations that I tried, they will still eventually run into this situation, and they do it frequently. So I think the... 
the practical solution for this, there may very well be a way to properly set up these signals to get my setup to work. I don't know how to do it. And I'm tired of spending time trying to figure it out. So the, the practical solution here is to simply just take the, our uranium train and put it on its own network completely, which I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do that off camera, but I'll, I'll just tell you how I'm going to do it real quick. Um, so instead of intersecting with the track down there, like we're doing now, I'm going to actually bring this out over the existing track and then come down and run a, a rail on the back side to come into this station. And then we're going to run it all the way down there around and up and intersect with the road. And it's going to be completely separated from from this this rail here and then we don't even need signals at all because the other train just runs and you know does its thing okay so um but again i'll do all that off camera because i mean we're this video is already going to be over three hours long it's hitting four so it's really almost more like a vod at this point and i know it's that's just crazy long for what's supposed to be a let's play so i i want to get through this quick but i do want to show you the uh how i did get it to work because no stations were involved. So let's fly over here really quick. So this little section over here um, seems to work fine. I haven't had any issues with it after two or three hours of running. Um, and actually, hold on. Let me get the other train started again. All right, so we'll just ride this uranium train over to the other shared track section. But we're gonna we're gonna do away with this little section here and just run a new track straight into this section here, you know, further out, so it's no longer tied in with that part of the network. And well, it, it'll be off that train network entirely. But this one I was able to get to work uh, because there's no stations involved and it's it, it's a little simpler. Okay, so let's just jump out right here. All right, so what's going on here now is that we have, um, I have a path signal right here um, for, you know, uh, traffic traveling east uh, along on the track. And right now it says waiting for path reservation because what happens is as the train approaches the path signal, um, it, it basically communicates with the path signal and says, hey, I need a path through your area, you know, whatever area that it's assigned to. It's block or, you know, main, not block, but it's section because it can, that can consist of multiple blocks. And so what will happen is the path signal will reserve a path for that train, this eastbound train, through its section and if there are other trains that are trying to also come into that section it won't let them do that it'll stop them until the train comes through so what you need to do to set this up from what i understand or at least the way i've been able to get to work is you set up your path signal at the entrance to the area and then at the ending of that area because uh, this little section here is the shared track you put a block signal and what that does is two things it ends the main area of the path signal. Remember, this can be way further down the track if I want it to be. Um, so it ends the area of the path, the path signal, but what the path signals will do is they'll, they'll take the ending, but they'll also consider the next section after the end too. So it's actually not just reserving its own section, but it's reserving an, you know, kind of a buffer area, if you will, uh, beyond that, which in this case is the white area. Right, so that means if the eastbound train's coming through here and the path signal is activated for it, it'll not only reserve this green section, but it'll also reserve the white section after. So if this train, the coal train's coming along and the other train, the uranium train has this reserved, it'll stop the coal train right here at this purple and make it wait until the uranium train goes through. Okay, now notice that the path signal here, um, uh, sorry, no. This path signal here just turned green because this train said, hey, I need you to create a path uh, for me, right? Path approved. And then, and now what it's doing is it's not letting any other trains come from behind either until this train gets all the way through. 
And it's the same setup except for now what we have on this end is we have a black signal on the other end for the westbound train to end that path area. And that is this signal right here. Okay. So what that means then is that this block signal here um, and anything uh, one section after that will be uh, reserved until that train gets all the way through. And it seems to work. I haven't had any crashes, collisions. I haven't had any blockage, um, you know, with letting these trains run through here multiple times. Uh, so, I, you know, I was successful, but I just could not get the damn things to work with the, the stations over there. So I, I finally said, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to rebuild it so that those two networks are completely independent of one another. So that's what is going to happen. Um, all right. So let's get that done. I'm going to do it off camera because, again, I'm running out of space on my hard drive. And then when it's completely done, we'll, we'll treat you guys to a train ride at the very end of this video. All right, guys, let's go for a train ride. Um, I don't, uh, I still need to do some uh, aesthetic stuff, some cosmetics and whatnot. Um, I'll worry about that later, of course. Um, but let's do this. As you can see, I, I built a new track there. And so this train network is completely independent of the one that the other train there is running on. And it does only intersect, of course, with the coal train network just briefly. I also went around too uh, and got all of the supports in place for this entire uh, railroad as well. Just did that off camera. So yeah, this is neat. I, I really, I have to say, I really love the trains in this game. Um, they're just so cool. You know, if you like trains at all, and I do, I mean, I'm not a train aficionado or anything like that, but I do like trains. always have. Had a couple little train sets when I was a kid and whatnot, and um, it's, it's just a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. The damn signals are a pain in the ass. They're really not, though. You just need to understand how they work, and my frustration with them was more just trying to get them to do something they're really not supposed to do, that is, use path signals on a two-way rail with two stations. <laughs> so... Um, once I finally decided, you know, I'm banging my head against the wall here, um, I, you know, then it got simple. <laughs> so, yeah. This is really neat, though, man. I just I really enjoy this. The views are just amazing. The only thing I wish we could do, uh, and there's probably mods for this, but in the vanilla game, I wish there was a way we could zoom out, um, you know, to see the train and the scenery a little bit better. But this is as far out as... It's a fixed camera position. If we go into photo mode, we can zoom out, like, to there. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know if there's uh, another way to to handle that. We could we could at least remove the HUD. This took me a long time to build, man. In uh, our next season, when 1.0 comes out, probably most of my rail systems will be more practical, more more direct. But we'll probably, you know, build a, a roller coaster one too. But because, again, this is probably our last one we're going to build, I wanted to make it kind of fun too. Uh, in, in this season, of course. All right, we're pulling into the uranium drop uh, or pickup rather station. I got some cosmetics to to do out here as well. And I don't know if he's going to actually pick anything up. I think he's already loaded. Nope, he is going to pick a little bit up. Okay, cool. I have been pondering. I haven't made this decision for sure yet, but I have been pondering. Um, having the red forest here up here the bamboo forest wherever the hell it's called be our central hub location in 10 only because it is a central location on the map itself and also i have in my mind that 
in 1.0. I'm gonna I'm gonna do more. I, I, we're gonna still have a central hub with central storage, but I'm probably gonna build more satellite factories instead of um, you know trying to build one big mega factory city like we did in this uh, this playthrough, and then have it have everything converge on the hub. Here we go. Yeehaw! <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, this is so much easier than just trying to fuck around with those signals on a two-way rail with stations. Take my advice, guys. Don't do it. Unless you're an absolute pro and you know exactly how to set it up. In which case, I'd kind of like to know, but... Oh, I forgot to move that. Remove these last sections of concrete. All right. Well, there you have it. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do some cosmetics, and then we'll start the next regular episode, because this was kind of a side episode, uh, with a, another train ride for people that didn't watch this one. Uh, and then we're going to uh, get the rest of our nuclear power going. I, I did fire them up uh, just very briefly, um, and I have a, a small collection of waste way out there that we'll have to deal with. Excuse me, but uh, anyway, that's going to be the plan for the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.